break down a quick set of footwork by CJ McCollum and really understand what's happening within the moments and really how well he controls his space and stays in his space and owns his space in plays like this. Now this is why I love to use grip mats because they're great pictures and great accountability partners for these types of ingredients. And you're gonna see just how much of a master of space CJ is in this play. Now we're gonna start this off by doing a push to a split through. Now what a push means is he's actually gonna jump towards the basket, jump towards the defender. And so in one motion, he's gonna push to that split through. Now that has become a more common set of footwork, but what's rare is just resting and staying out of that. Most of the time when players will do a push to a split through, they use that momentum to drive. But what CJ does, and if you really study CJ, he does this often with many movements, is he rests and stays in those positions. And so if he pushes to a split through, now instead of going forward, which has already put his defender on his heels, CJ is just gonna go ahead and do a lift. Now a lift means you're gonna pop up off the floor, straight up, and control your space. He's not drifting, he's just simply gonna come up and come down. Now that has the type of, of reaction typically the defender could raise with you, but even more important than that is when CJ comes down, he's gonna be able to use that to accelerate. And so when his feet hit the floor, it's easier to be aggressive and quick off of that pop that you'll experience. Now what he's gonna do is he's gonna go ahead and lift, and what he's gonna do is he's gonna dig this outside foot. Now when he does that, he's gonna use that dig, which would be an open format, an open dig, and he's gonna use that to push off right into a through. Now this is the only time that we're gonna see him actually explore space forward. Really what we're gonna notice is that CJ's whole entire play is all utilizing this space right here. Because as soon as he goes ahead and goes through, he rests one more time. He might reposition slightly to read. He lost the defense, he turn pounds, and he simply slide steps into that shot. And so if you really break this down, CJ's entire play, all these little things he did, all utilized the same space of the floor. He never went anywhere. And that's really the power of plays like this and why we like to use this type of accountability because so often players will dance but they'll also dance in all these different types of space. For as much little things as CJ did, for as much as he threw off his defender and caused them to be so off balance that they fell out of the play, he never really left his spot. He owned this part of the floor, he controlled it, he kept it, he maintained it, and that's where he obviously scored from. So if you're able to put all these together, even though they sound like they're a lot, you're pushing to a split through, you lift, open, dig, go right to your through, and then simply, reset step back you're controlling your space at an elite level and you're making sure that you are not the one that's expending the energy you're simply making the shots and making the plays if you take a snapshot of a player making a move you can really dissect things position of the foot, the positions of the defensive player. You, know, you can break things down. If you're seeing a game move so quickly, a lot of times you can't, right? So with the still image, you can really pick things apart. 